next slide here find the number of combinations so now we're talking about a combinations problem so let's take a look at the problem and how we determine if it's a combinations or not so uh, it says Marisol is planning to be a counselor at summer camp she can choose three activities for her session how many different okay so it says combinations of three activities can she pick right so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten to choose from right And again, with combinations, the order does not matter. Order does not matter. So uh, just to kind of talk about this, right, the, the formula, right? So if we want to find uh, three activities, right? So let's take three activities. Take three activities, A, B, and C. Now, what if the order mattered, right? So for the permutations, right? So for the permutation, there would be A, B, C, A, C, B, uh, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, C, B, A, right? That's if the order mattered, right? So there's six choices. But if we think about combinations, right, these six choices are all the same combination because they all involve activities A, B, and C. So this is actually only one. So for combinations, so for combinations, this is only one because they all have A, B, and C involved, right? So let's recall that six, uh, six is three factorial. So if you look here, right, notice that we want to pick three activities. Three factorial could be involved. So if we take this as a permutation, 10 permutation with 3, right? So uh, this would be 10, 9, 8, right? Three spots starting with 10, then 9, then 8. So if you multiply that out, that's 720, right? So that's how many permutations there would be. But now, if I want to find the number of combinations, 10C3, right? Combinations of three activities pick it, picked from 10, then I would do the permutations, but then I would divide by this. Divide by that, that uh, R factorial. So in this case, three factorial. And again, it's because that there are six ways to write the same group of three activities. So we're going to divide by six. Okay? All right, so now, what is this, right? Well, remember what this is. This is 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial and then you still have the 3 factorial from up above here right so this would be uh let's say the permutations part would be 720 and i would divide by 6 725 by 6 is 120 and there's only 120 different combinations combos of three activities and again, if you notice, right, the number of permutations was 720. The number of combinations was 120. There's always more permutations than combinations. Always more permutations than combinations. And again, than combos. And again, it's, it's, it's because of the order, right? Because you have the order, all six of these are different orders versus we only care about having them grouped together. So through this example, we were trying to lead you to this formula right here. This is the combinations formal formula, right? So if we go to the next slide here. So it does involve, right, uh, picking R objects from a set of N. But again, it's a combination where the order does not matter. And this is your formula, right? NCR equals N factorial over r factorial times n minus 1 or n minus r factorial and again this part is the permutation part and then you just divide by r factorial again all right so let's do one more example using this formula here all right so it says we uh, are a teacher and we're choosing five students to work together on a group project what is the problem that the five students names will begin with a consonant so we went five students names who begin with a consonant and we were doing a probability oh so we're going to step this up, 
Okay, so first off, it doesn't say that the first person is the leader, the second person is the secretary. No, we need five students in a group. So order does not matter. Order does not matter. So no order, which means we're going to use combinations. N, C, R. Okay, we want to pick. So we want to find the probability of picking five people that all have consonants as their first. So this C stands for consonants consonant okay so let's look here right so how many total people are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen there are a total of eighteen people so when you do probability the bottom is always the total so out of the eighteen people we want to choose five that's going to be our total number of people okay so now how many start with the consonants? So consonants. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I counted 13. So then the vowels. How many start with a vowel? Uh, Adam. And then Ella, my daughter. Alicia, Olivia, and Arthur. So five. Okay. So what this means is from the 13 that have consonants, we want to pick all five. Now I'm going to also multiply by the five that have vowels, but we want to choose none of them, right? Sometimes we let this C stand for the word choose. So it is a combination. So 13 combinations, five, but you can do 13 choose five. So that word is choose. But notice here, this is what I want to pick. I want to pick five with consonants and none with vowels. Notice I multiply, right? And, right? And. So I multiply. Okay, so there's my situation. Notice also, if we look here, 13 and 5 add up to 18. 5 and 0 add up to 5. That should always occur. All right? So now, we're going to make this look really messy because we're going to use the formula, right? Uh, I'm going to show you this in Desmos in a second, um, but we'll use the formula. So for the formula, right, it's uh, n factorial over r factorial. Uh, and then this is 13 minus 5, which is 8 factorial. That's the first one. Times, of uh, this is going to be 5 factorial over 0 factorial. And 0 factorial is equal to 1. We didn't talk about that earlier. And then this is 5 minus 0 factorial, which is 5 factorial. So this is actually going to cancel. Because this is 1, uh, 5 factorial, 5, this will all cancel. So we don't really need that. Okay. And then the bottom is 18 factorial over 5 factorial, and then 18 minus 5 would be 13 factorial. Okay? All right, and you would just multiply out the top. So this top uh, becomes 1287. And again, I'll show you this in Desmos. Again, this is just 1, so times 1 doesn't matter. The bottom is 8568. And if you divide that, that's 0 0.15, which is 15%. So that's the probability of getting all of the consonants filling these five spots and no vowels. Now let's take a look at Desmos and how it would do it. And again, feel free to use Desmos. I don't, you know, I'm not going to stop you, right? So here I would put a fraction bar, right? So we're going to do uh, N C R. So my first one is 13 choose five times N C R. My second one is five choose zero. And then my denominator is NCR, uh, and that would be 18, uh, choose 5. And there you go, 0.15 or 15%. Okay. So again, that's kind of a complicated question. So I know I went through that kind of quickly. Uh, hopefully I have more time to practice that in class. Um, other than that, good luck with permutations and combinations, and we'll see you in class.